it's Robin here. Welcome back to my channel. Look, you see my planners here in front of me. That means it's time for a plan with me. Um, now, last week, the plan with me design group that I'm in, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit, had a collab going and we did a kit. I did mine in my classic happy planner. And as you can see, I have my Carpe Diem and my big happy planner here. And that is because Rhett and Molly start school on Tuesday and I wanna do a back to school spread for them. I'm gonna do it in my big happy planner. But when I did the other kids' back to school, I did it in my Carpe Diem and I wanted to show that. So this is my last week's spread, but it wasn't last week. So this was when the other kids started school. And they started on August the 10th, and I had Gracie, who was in 11th grade, Trenton, who was in 9th grade, Ashlyn, who was in 8th grade, and Cohen, who was in 1st grade, and they all started at the same school on the same day. So that's what that was from. Now today, I want to work in my, I mean my big happy planner. So I'm going to go ahead and get the days out and then I will show you what I want to do with it. So, I haven't done my monthly yet. So this is going to be for September the 4th, Labor Day, through September the 10th. Okay? And like I said, I'm gonna do a back to school spread. So, for my washi, I have chosen one of these two, and I'm not for sure which I'm gonna do. This has like ABCs, and different things on it and this one has like nice wow a plus I also have this that looks like measuring tape I have this one that has the paper clips on it and has come apart and then I have this cute little one with the little children on it and I think most of these actually came from Target Dollar Spot. A couple, such as this, may have came from Ally Express or paper, uh, pretty packages. Now my stickers include, these all come from Hobby Lobby, by the way. I have this set, which is from uh, the Paper Studio. It came from Hobby Lobby, $2.49. I got them all half price, so they were $1.25. And then this one says preschool, so this is specifically for them. And then these were the ones from Gracie and Trenton and Cohen's, and I just got them in case I wanted to use a little something from here, just as kind of filler. So those are options. And then last but not least, I printed, you know, my daughter's Rusty is a photographer, and she does back to school mini sessions. So I have Rhett's mini session and then this one actually has Rhett and Cohen because Rhett only had one that was on my phone and then these are Molly's and so I'm going to incorporate them in this also so that is what I have let's get started guys now Monday is the holiday Tuesday's when they will start school so as I'm putting down the washi, I will tell you about the Plan With Me design group. It is a group of ladies and gentlemen that are now, I believe, 45 strong. And they, um, everybody plans in different planners. We have different design techniques, white space planners, no white space planners, or designs. All kinds of just different variety of people all in our group. Anyone is welcome. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Plan With Me Design Group, everybody is listed in the description box below. And you just hit up one of the top three listed in that description box. And they will be more than happy to help you and give you all of the information regarding the group and it is a lovely group if you are interested in that type of thing I highly highly recommend that you consider joining our plan with me design group it is so much fun 
It's just a group of supportive people who get together every week and we plan in our planners. And um, last week we had a collab, which was great. I loved it. It was so much fun. We all had, well, it wasn't required. And so a lot of us had the same kit. We got it from Peekaboo Planning. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead real fast and cut my slits and stuff. And I'm gonna do that off camera just so that it doesn't like make this video so much longer. All right guys, so I went ahead and I went off camera just long enough to go ahead and get my sides here fixed because I used my individual hole punch and there's no reason for that to be. Anyway, yeah, just <laughs> trying to use up less time. So, oh, Scotty's going to play with the, Scotty's going to play with his toy, so you guys may hear that in the background. Molly, actually, Molly and Rhett, sorry guys, Molly and Rhett actually have a meet and greet tomorrow night with the teacher. And it lucks out because I try not to go home any more than I have to right now because I've put a lot of miles on my car. So I'm kind of trying to limit that. And uh, I lucked out because I got a phone call and they said grandparents night is the 21st. Well, Izzy's birthday is the 22nd and her party is the 23rd. And I would be home in Oklahoma anyway. So I'm just going to go home one extra day early and get to go to Rhett and Molly's Grandparents Day. So that'll be fun. I haven't got to attend that in quite a while because I wouldn't go home for just that one thing. And yeah, so I'm excited about that. Now Scotty's on the couch with his toy. Okay, I went ahead and decided on the bottom, which I'm not crazy about it, the stuff that's showing through from the actual planner, but I went ahead and used this, and I actually got A through Z, because it goes N, O, P, and then I got A again. So almost stretched it out to where it was just A through Z. So I do like that. So I think I'm going to put the little boys and girls at the very top here and then the paper clips on the two in the center. That's how I think I'm going to do it. So let's put the little kiddos up here. And I probably would not have used this, but since Rhett and them are just in preschool, I thought it would look really cute. So, now this is Rue's third year, third and final year, and Molly's first. So, even though Molly is three, since it is her first year to go to school, we decided to put her in the two-year program, even though she's three. She hasn't been to daycare or any type of a place like that. So we just thought it would probably be best for her if we put her in like the very beginning. So she'll only go a couple of days a week. She'll go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's only, um, I think, three hours a day, three hours a day for two days a week, just to kind of get her used to socializing with other children and stuff, which is really good, I think. And Rhett has gone ever since he was two, and his grandmother, his grandma, and his mother both teach there. Cohen went there for his three years of preschool, and so... And then my other daughter also teaches Head Start, but that is a different program. That is through the tribe, and Molly wasn't eligible. Molly wasn't eligible to go to that, and Rhett and Cohen 
wouldn't have went anyway because they went where their grandma was teaching. So, now Randy will have Reed. She will start school and only be at school for a couple of weeks and then she will be off on maternity leave until after her maternity leave is over with. So, we are anxiously awaiting baby Reed. Randy Michelle is my one daughter that seems to have her babies kind of early, before her due date. Ryan's had her babies on their due date. And Rusty was always just a little bit late. I think one of hers came early. I don't know, I'm getting so many of them, it's hard to keep up. But, um, so we are fixing to be on baby watch because Randy is six weeks out. Six weeks out. Number eight. Huh? Number eight. Number eight. Papa didn't get a go to. Did you go to Cohen or Ritz 3D ultrasounds? Uh, or just Molly and Lydia's? Just Molly and Lydia's, I think. That's when I was laid out from my good job and working for that other little outfit. Yeah. Yeah, and you weren't at the births either of, you were at, not Gracie's because we weren't together yet. And then you were at Trenton and Ashland's. I missed those. You missed all of them? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I thought you were up there just right after Molly was born. No, I didn't even get to meet Molly till you had your surgery, remember? Was that Molly or Lydia? That was Molly. Oh, my. Hmm. She was Yeah. That's the sad part about living so far away. You don't get to enjoy your grandbabies as much. But luckily, we live in a day nowadays where there's like technology and stuff. Where my dad only had a telephone and he begged me all the time to let my children come and stay with him, which they were only one and three when he passed away. So, I mean, it's not like I told him no for. I mean, they were really little, and I wasn't sending them from Dallas to the other side of Tulsa, Oklahoma by themselves at ages, you know, less than three. So, but nowadays you have FaceTime and, you know, just text messages and emails and just computers in general and cell phones and so... Sure that technology, huh? Yeah. You miss out a lot, period. But it's better nowadays with the technology we have. Mm -hmm. than, I mean, you got to see and talk to both the girls, the little girls tonight. Yeah. So, poor Lydia. She always sounds so depressed, except for when she talks to her papa. She'll be like, hi, Mima. Hi, Mimi. And then it's like, hi, papa. She was crying earlier about something. I don't know, her something her parents had gotten onto her. Or she was wanting something. I don't know what it was. She was crying about something. And they were like, papa's on the phone. Hi, papa. 
He just quit crying automatically. Hi, boo boo. I'm like, she don't even have anything to do with me. All right, there's my washi, guys. All done. Let's get, okay, let's put the kids' stickers down first. Where are we going to put their pictures? Let's see. Let's put one here and one here because this is the day they start. And then we'll put one here, maybe, and one here. Or do we want it? No, I like that. Well, we'll do it like that. Yep. Do you guys have an HP sprocket? Because, yeah, buddy, this thing is, I love this thing. My HP sprocket. <sighs> this is the first time Aunt Rusty took Molly's pictures that Molly Elizabeth could uh, smile and get into it. Aunt Rusty curled her hair. She is super excited. So. Super duper excited. Before that, she was always kind of cranky. Didn't want to take pictures. Pictures were not a good thing. But this year, she got into it. Aunt Rusty curled her hair, made her look pretty, and she was all about the pictures. My Rhett and Cohen, they're used to it. So much to the point where it's like, yeah, stick another camera in my face, oh well. So there's that and that. And... This one. All right. Now, does something say first day of school? No. So let's hand write that in. Okay. And then this is Labor Day. have anything else going on September this is my uncle Dave's birthday okay I'm gonna open up these two stickers and let's see what we want to put on here oh look at that first day of school I'm telling you, I'm not very smart, am I? And I bet that I even looked. I wonder how many of y'all saw that and then were like, it's right there. Let's put it over it, even though you can kind of see through it. My goodness. You guys didn't yell loud enough. All right. Now then. What do we want to put on here? We want this one that says preschool for sure. Down here. 
although it makes it look like Coen and Rhett are new friends, but they're not. the little schoolhouse it's because that's super duper cute okay I like to make sure I leave one day so I will leave this blank so I can put something let's put this let's cover up this because I do not I am not a fan of. Let me see here. Let me see what else I have. that but it leaves that at the bottom so I gotta figure out something for that and I think I'm going to do this do some apples. I don't want that one that says A plus because they don't get grades like that. I mean that one has names of Here's some more stars. Let's just go ahead and add those too. Yep, like that. So I think I'll leave all of this blank. Oh no. No, I gotta have the school bus because Aunt Rusty actually drives a school bus. So we will put it we will put it down here a little so I still have room up here to write, but yeah, we have to add the school bus. Even though they don't have a school bus that they'll be riding. And since it's preschool, let's add some crayons. And then I think that may be about all I do. Let's add let's see here. There's yellow. Blue and red. 
feel like we need something right here. If they had something like this at their playground, I would put it, but they don't. Had to have the school bus just because Aunt Rusty drives one. We needed one. Extra crayons there. go with my first instinct down. I think I'm going to put the handprint down. The other sticker sheet came off a lot easier than this one. Redder and Molly's first day of CBA. That's Labor Day. This is my uncle's birthday. Um, anything going on the 4th through the 10th you can think of? think of anything. Okay, I'm going to put these back in my big happy planner. And I am almost done. I am almost done. So, I will flip this around. So you guys can see it. No, it's not. Can you guys see that? How it turned out? I am very happy with it. And so I love my um, HP sprocket. I love being able to print the pictures and put them in here and just kind of use this sort of as a memory keeper. And so, yeah, this is the little kids' first day of school. And so this week is dedicated to them. I hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me as much as I enjoy making them for you guys. And if you do, be sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out all the other ladies in the and gentlemen in the design plan group. Sorry, Seth, I always forget about you. And uh, yeah, I will link them in the description box below. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button on your way out and come back and join me for more videos. Bye, guys.